guys welcome to cm global interactions every wednesday we are talk about all the consensus all about our society all about our career relationship issue nigeria as a whole and the world at large i still remain your regular host christabel martins and today i want to discuss business women especially the market women the nigerian market women but let me take a short break so when i come back i will continue with the show please stay tuned Welcome back if you are just joining us. This is still um, CM Global Interactions every Wednesday and I am your regular host Christopher Martins. Like I said, like I said earlier, today I will be discussing business people or business women. Most cases in Nigeria it is said that whenever somebody or someone has a show or a place where he puts things or goods for people to come and patronize him he or she must be praying for people or customers to come and patronize them but in that case nigeria is doing the other way around when you come to so many shops in nigeria today so today in our locality society and vicinity those shops owner like stylists like hairstylists um fashion designers um let me say w w which one again um provision stores, make, make up, uh, make up shops and the rest of them. When you visit them, you see them pulling their slippers, like pulling their slippers before they enter into the shop. Like, do you expect a customer to come from maybe only God knows where to come and pull their shoe, their slippers to enter your shop? For God's sake, why did you open the shop? Is this for family use or for fun fair? I don't know. Is it not for people to come and patronize you? Why will you not want to enter your shop and you expect people to put their slippers, their pants, their shoes, or whatever they are putting on with their legs to pull it and enter that shop to sit? And they will still pay. It's not as if they are coming for you to do it free for them. It's not as if they are coming for you to learn one or two things with their faces or their head or whatever, or maybe their nails. So that's one thing that's been bugging me. Like, I can't go to a shop and I see where people are pulling shoes, pulling slippers, and they expect me to pull my slippers and I'm, I, I went there to make my hair, or maybe I, I, I went there to, to buy things, or maybe to buy provisions. They expect me to pull my slippers. Who on earth does that? Like all these places you went to, maybe you would travel to outside this country, outside the vicinity, you went to Lagos, you went to, let me say you traveled out of the country, went to United States and the rest of them, Dubai and the rest of them. Where on earth do you see a fashion designer or a makeup artist shop or a provision shop where they want to enter into the shop and they put their slippers outside? This is not a mosque, this is not a church, that is understandable. But shop where people come to patronize you, expect them to put their shoe, their slippers, or whatever they are putting on their leg to enter because that place is a holy ground, is a holy place. Abby, please, we Nigerians should stop all of this. If we have anything that is maybe we feel people are cultish wearing their slippers to enter into your shop, we feel they are cultish. Not everybody is cultish. Please. If you really want people to patronize you, me, I cannot come to any shop and see where people are pulling slippers. Do I even know if you are even taking my destiny, pulling my slippers? You too, you're, you're always a real pure. So you don't expect me to do that, please. That's by the way. Another one is that just caught my attention was, um, I was reading uh, an article on Instagram, and uh, let me see, let me just say social media rather. So I come across this woman that, and government, government official called with 500,000 Naira. This woman was actually a beggar on the streets. And um, she was caught in a street of Abuja. I know you would not please. And the place she is, she normally goes to beg for arms. It's called uh, Maitama, something like that. So when she was being questioned, she said uh, she has been begging for more than 10 years, according to her. So 
Sometimes when she comes to bay, there are people that have 5,000, 10,000, even dollars and the rest of them. And when they calculate everything that they saw in her, they saw a whooping sum of 500,000 naira and 100,000 dollar. So when you convert 100,000 dollar to naira, it is 57,000 naira, meaning one dollar is, let me say, approximately 570. Yes, 570 naira. So when you calculate 570 naira to uh, times 100, it gives you 57,000 naira. So who on earth, a beggar, you just say, please, I don't have what to eat, and person who can't 50,000 naira. For 10 years, you have been doing that. Please and please, we should check all these beggars, because sometimes, some of them might be doing illegal business, which we don't know. How can a beggar have such amount with her? And when you question her, she said she she she's gathering the money because she wants to use the money to buy things for her as a utensils, house utensils for her daughter that is about to get married. Like for ten years, you've been gathering this money for your daughter that wants to get married now because you've been caught. This is what government should start doing. All these beggars on the road, on the street that are physically okay. They should check them because you won't tell me those who are physically not okay and those who are physically okay are all the same on the street. No, they are not the same because at the end of it, they engage in criminal activities, they engage in kidnapping, they engage in so many activities, atrocities and the rest of them, and it makes our society not a safer place for us to be. So all of those persons that will always give out 5,000, 10,000 and the rest of them, like, do they do that every day? Because obviously she's begging every day. According to her, when she gathers the money, she goes back to her uh, um, to her village. When the money finishes, she comes back to Abuja, where she normally begs. So please, government and even the government officials should also check all the street beggars on the street. That way, we will live uh, in a peaceful uh, environment and harmony. Because sometimes. Even when you're sleeping, you will, you notice that people come to knock on your door. And when you come outside, you don't see people. We don't know who are they, we don't know who are actually roaming about pretending to be beggars. Especially even those mad people that pretend to be mad people. They are not mad. Some of them are actually kidnappers. Yes, yeah, some of them are actually kidnappers. So, this is all I have for us on CM Global Interactions every Wednesday. And I hope with this, um, these things I have mentioned, I know that after listening to this uh, video, definitely you will like, you will share and comment because this will go a long way to help people in our society. Also, those persons that are physically fit, that are begging on the road, government also should please try as much as possible to, to rehabilitate these persons because they know and they understand what is good and bad. Definitely they understand money and the rest of them so they can just and rehabilitate them so that they can also start business. Whenever they have gathered a such amount, maybe 10,000, 20,000 and the rest of them, they can use it to start business, not only just gather it and be keeping it and be pretending that they don't have what to eat. Please, let's try and help ourselves and also help the society and also help the government and also help Nigeria also help the world at large to make it a better place and safer place for all of us to live. So this is here. I will be rounding up for today's show and I will see you again next week when I will come again with another exciting topic to, dis to discuss on Rada. Thank you so much for always being with Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your share. Thank you for your comments. I won't take that for granted. Bye-bye for now.